Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Another day, another drama, and this time it involves Tana Mojo and Logan Paul, as well as Ethan is Supreme or Ethan Trash Queen. And this one's got me feeling some kind of way. So before I start off this video, I am just going to state that this is alleged and my opinion because I don't need to get sued. Just in case this turns out to be some kind of a giant trolling situation, but I just wanted to state that just to be safe. All right, well, let's get on into the drama. Okay, so first we are going to be talking about Tana Mojo and Logan Paul. Now, if you know anything about them, Tana was apparently married, married to Jake Paul, Logan's brother, and they recently decided to take a break or I guess get a divorce I don't really understand that whole situation, to be honest with you. Like, it makes no sense to me at all. But uh, recently, Tana and Logan have been spotted out together, and they seemed a little bit close, as you can see in these photos. Now, what I don't understand is, like, okay, why are you even doing these photos or getting this close to each other when this is literally, like, your exes, again, in quotes, like, I don't really understand that whole thing. Your ex's brother. Like, if they are officially together, this is, like, the whole Alyssa Violet situation all over again. Like, I don't understand why people go from Jake Paul and then hop right on over to Logan Paul. Like, do you like to keep it in the same family or what? Like, I don't understand the whole situation at all in general. I honestly just feel like this is some kind of attention grab or clout grab, which again, I just like, come on, Tana. Like, I don't understand why you keep doing this. To be honest, like, yes, they do have more followers than you, but I feel like you are way more popular than they are. But again, that's just my opinion. You guys, I swear to God, if I see Tana cozied up next to FaZe Banks after all this, like, obviously this is just a giant clout grab, but then it's just gonna be absolutely ridiculous like this is just some giant clout grab or attention grab like i understand yeah do it for the views do it for the money but at the same time it's just a giant mess and i just really don't understand like the fake relationships for views or for attention or for clout like you have people who look up to you and they want to be you when they grow up and if you start having all of these fake relationships they're gonna think that, you know what, maybe this is what my relationship's supposed to be like. And it's not a good impression for your fans. Like, you should show them an actual stable relationship and you being happy. And if you're not happy in a relationship, then you can be happy and single and show them that you don't need a man or a woman in your life to make you a happy person or to make you a better person. If somebody comes into your life that does make you happy and makes you a better person, perfect but you don't need somebody else to make you happy you need to be happy on your own okay well enough of tana and logan let's go ahead and get on into the drama that is around ethan is supreme or ethan trash queen you aren't aware of who ethan is supreme is or ethan trash queen they are a beauty influencer on youtube their channel is ethan supreme and over on instagram they are known as ethan trash queen on youtube they have about 140,000 subscribers and on instagram they have over 500,000 subscribers so i was scrolling through my twitter feed when i came across this photo from ethan with this caption of him saying that he has met Ariana Grande and they've hung out three times and 2020 has been amazing and he's got to do her makeup and like all this stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, good for you. Awesome. But then I was scrolling through the comments when I saw this one and it turns out that this photo was stolen and then Ethan went ahead and photoshopped himself into the photo to make it look like he has met Ariana Grande. When you go to this guy's profile and you scroll through his media, you can see when this photo was actually uploaded and it was uploaded in 2018 and Ethan just uploaded his photo the other day. Now people are probably like, oh, well, I mean, maybe it could just be a similar photo. 
So I went ahead and overlaid the photos and let's go ahead and take a look at the results. So as you can see, as I increase and decrease the opacity between the two photos, Ethan's being on the front and the original behind, you can see that they are the exact same photo, just zoomed in and Ariana's ring has been edited out off of her finger. Now, you might be asking yourself, okay, like, why is this such a big deal? Well, it's really not that big of a deal until you get to the DMs that Ethan was sending this person. So they had a little DM message going back and forth, and then it got to the end of the message, which showed this. So Ethan finished their conversation with saying, Okay, so if I have my friend Photoshop your nudes, is it okay if I email them to your job? Because that's the same LMAFO. Like, that's literally the equivalent. So I don't know what world Ethan is living on where he thinks that taking somebody's photo and Photoshopping them out of it and Photoshopping yourself into it is the same thing as Photoshopping somebody's nude photos and then sending them to their job. Like, that's literally classified as revenge porn, and there are legal ramifications that come with that. So I don't know why he's thinking that is the equivalent at all, because it is absolutely not. So when I was rereading this message, one thing that stood out to me was that it said two unread messages. So I was thinking for a moment that, oh my god, like, this could be photoshopped, this message could be fake. So I was like, hmm... Maybe this isn't real at all. I did reach out to Ethan for comment, but he has not responded. So I did a little bit of investigating myself, and this is what I found out. This is a screenshot of my DMs where I asked somebody to send me four messages in a row as fast as they could to see what happened. And I just had my DMs opened, and I waited for them to send the message, and then I went into the DMs and read them. And it just came up as normal messages. So then I had them send them again, and when she sent two messages, I hurry up and opened the message. The results show that even though I had the message open and there were four messages there, it said that I had two unread messages because I had opened it as she sent the first two. After doing that little experiment, I am believing that these messages are actually real and that he did send these messages. Now, I don't know, again, why Ethan thinks that photoshopping yourself into somebody else's photo is the same thing as threatening to photoshop nudes and send them to them or to their workplace, but it is not the same thing, and it's just absolutely disgusting that he even thinks that this is okay. I mean, he's had his issues in the past where people have called him out for using inappropriate language, for using the N-word. Um, it's just a giant mess, and, you know, he hasn't been in any kind of drama lately, so I figured, okay, maybe he's finally cleaned up his act, but it seems that, nope, I was wrong. He was just waiting for something like this to happen, I guess. I don't really understand why he thinks it's funny because the original person who had the photo found this on Ethan's Instagram. <laughs> the fucking kid! The fucking kid! This picture I stole just changed his bio to original owner of Ethan is Supreme Picture with Ariana Grande. So clearly Ethan just thinks that this is a giant joke, but now on all serious notes, uh, if somebody wanted to get Ethan in trouble, they literally could unfortunately just Photoshop nudes of this guy and then it would all just get blamed on Ethan. Like, I don't think he realizes that putting out this kind of message towards somebody is okay because now it literally leaves you open for all sorts of legal trouble if somebody decides, you know what, I don't like this kid at all. I'm going to Photoshop pictures of this kid and put them out there, and I'm just going to blame Ethan for it. Because guess what? That's not funny either. And the internet is a very, very dark place, so let's just hope that nobody does that because that would also be disgusting. 
but like, you left yourself open for that to happen and dude like it's not funny at all Right, but that is everything that I have for today's video, so I would love to know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think about Tana and Logan hanging out together? Do you think that they are in a relationship? Do you think that they are just hanging out for attention? Or do you think that everyone is just blowing this out of proportion? What do you think about the whole situation around Ethan is Supreme and the photoshopping and the messages about saying, I'm going to photoshop your inappropriate photos and send them to your employer? So I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you like this video, please make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you could hit that big red subscribe button. Also, hit that bell icon and set all of your notifications to on so you will be notified of every time that I upload a new video. Alright, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!